Okay, welcome to the guitar show. What we're going to do today is a really important lesson on rhythm guitar playing. I'm just going to give you a few um, ideas and a few pointers. So, let's start off by just doing quarter notes. I'm going to mute the strings here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Now, you might think this is really easy, um, but it's really good to develop a nice, relaxed sort of strumming technique here. Now, we're going to go eighth notes, which are and again, you want to make this nice and consistent. Um, not to, you know, don't strike the strings. Don't strike the strings too heavily. You know, get a nice tone. Okay. Now we're going to do sixteenths, and this is where it gets really important. So, this is a sixteenth rhythm. Now that's really important. Though. That's got to feel really natural, really loose on your wrist. You know, you don't want to have the elbow because you're going to get tennis elbow or RSI, whatever it is. Have it everything, pretend you're stroking a cat, you know. Just keep that really consistent. What you can do as well is tap your other foot here to keep yourself in time. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Just practice that. It's a really good thing to loosen up your wrist. Now we're going to do the accents on the four crotchets. One, two, three, four. What I mean by accents is we strike the strings a little bit harder on that one, two. And these are downs. It's like it's just like going the crotches as we did in the beginning. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's just try that at fast speed. See if you can do that with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Notice I'm muting the strings. That's really, really important because we're really focusing on the right hand here. We're just eliminating the left hand, just really focusing on this right hand. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a clave, because I'm going to put a clave inside the 16th rhythm, okay? So really, with music, as long as you've got this, this kind of facility to, to do this 16th rhythm on your right hand, you can pretty much do anything, and I'm going to show you a few other fun stuff to do with it. Now, um, this is a clave, which goes down, up, down, down, down. Clave is from Cuba. So it's kind of... Um. Go down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Now what I'm going to do with the same thing with the crotchet accents, I'm now going to do this the clave accent with the sixteenth kind of underneath. So let's just do the sixteenth first. Okay, I haven't got any accents, so I'm just doing the sixteenth rhythm. Now I'm going to do the clave. Again, that's down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 with the sixteenths. Okay, you can really take that, you know, fast. So, you know, when I was younger, learning guitar, I used to really just practice that really, really fast. So. Okay, so the clave rhythm was actually used um, on Bo Diddley sort of songs. Bo Diddley was a great R&B uh, rhythm and blues um, blues guitar player. So he, you know, for example, the song "Who Do You Love." So you can hear the sixteenths there, and then the and then the accents, the clave accents on top. Um, also, you know, Not Fade Away by the Rolling Stones pretty much copied that. Um, uh, was it? I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be. You're gonna give your love to me. Love, love, and not fade away. Love, love, and not fade away. Love, love, and not fade away. Love, love, 
Okay, so we can use that sixteenth as well in a different way. What we can do is we can separate the top half of the strings and the bottom half. So you've got here the top, and here's the bottom. Or, you, you know, I don't know if people call the bass strings the bottom or the treble strings the top, I don't know. I call this kind of the bottom and at the top, but, you know, it doesn't matter either way. So, um, what could be really useful for is, say, for example, you're doing a country, um, country sort of western style, Eagles, for example, rhythm guitar part, you know. So it's still at the 16th, 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a, but we're doing the, the bottom two um, semiquavers here on the, the lower strings, and the and the um, and, uh, um, the, top, the other ones on here on the top strings, so it sounds like this. So for example, this song here, kind of see with that kind of song there that it's, you know it's a groove and, and this is really the thing with the 16th rhythm is a whole the whole point about it is, is really developing a great groove um, and having that run through all of your playing you know, once you've got that then you can you can you know apply it and bring it into your scale playing because it's exactly the same technique the same my, my technique doesn't change if I'm playing rhythm guitar or lead guitar it doesn't change it's the same technique so you know if you can get that you know, it's just about your left hand then moving fast, but if you haven't got it on your right hand, you're never going to have it on your left hand. So that's really the, the key. Uh, another really cool thing to do is, say for example, you're watching your favourite TV show here in England, we've got Coronation Street and EastEnders, um, for example. So you might be kicking back watching the show, you can mute the strings, we can do it better on, a, on, a, on an electric guitar. Let's get an electric here, just happen to have one. And you can put it low volume, so you don't bother the neighbours or you can you know, listen to the TV and you can just practice that 16th Okay, so I took it a little bit farther, but that's what I used to do. I used to play drums on a on a on a muted guitar, you know. And really, that's you know. So when you come back to playing your um, your rhythm guitar parts, you've got this great groove, you know. Like I said on that country song, it could be could be funk music, you know. Because you practice that. Okay, so another thing, funk guitar playing. This technique is great for funk, the 16th kind of rhythm is great for funk guitar. But I had the very good fortune of working with Mr. Pee Wee Ellis, who is one of the, the JBs, one of the, the main saxophone players um, for James Brown back in the 50s, I think. You know, he did all the hits like. You know, all that sort of stuff. And. You know, working with him was a real eye-opener of how to play funk guitar. So maybe that we do a separate video on funk guitar playing. Um, but I just want to tell you this, a few, a few basic kind of golden rules about funk playing is leave some gaps. You know, don't be doing this. You know, you might have grown up listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers and, I don't know, the early stuff I remember was... You know, it was really heavy on the rhythm, you know. But when you're playing real, I think a lot of the funk great funk guitar players would leave holes and, and gaps in their playing like you know get get 
yourself into a nice, a nice little kind of rhythmic pattern. Okay, so another thing is if you've got that sixth inch kind of in the background of your head, you can kind of pick out, you know, just like we did, just like we picked out the clave, you can kind of pick out those accents, but not have that, because you're going to get dirty looks from the bass player, you know, if you're going to do that all night long. So what you can do is kind of pretend you've got this going in the background. So I don't know if I should give you an example. Now take out, take that sixteenths out. Now that's gonna, it's gonna give you a great groove if you do that. If you do it without kind of the sixteenths thing, then it may not have the groove. It may not have the feel. It's gonna be kind of, it's gonna be, it's not gonna have the same feel of it. So having that sixteenths, even if you're not actually playing it, but having it in your head and your kind of. In, your, in, your, in yourself, you're feeling the music, you're going to really bring out some great um, rhythm guitar playing. So I hope that's given you um, just a quick lesson, giving you a few ideas, we can go more into depth into these different rhythm styles, but just the, the, that 16th rhythm thing is kind of like the most important thing, I think, pro pro probably one of the most important things I ever learned on guitar, so you know, really, really take that on board what I've just told you, and uh, work with it, and uh, if you've got any questions, want me to do another video, let me know, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. God bless. See you soon.